In the last quick tip video, Jamie asked, Nice vid, any chance you could do a tutorial on how to export JSON files with a game and have it work? Cheers for your question, Jamie. Yes, we can. The great thing about using JSONs for storing data is they're remarkably similar to the dictionary type in Godot. This script has a path to where we'll save and load our data, as well as a set of default values stored in a dictionary. This will be used when the game is started for the first time. We can also go back to them if we want to delete saved data. You can see that dictionaries can also store other dictionaries, which is useful for keeping data tidy. Below this is the data dictionary, which we'll refer to and change during the running of the game. In the ready function, we'll load any data and then update the text on screen. Moving to the load function, we check if a file exists at a path. If not, we set the data dictionary to the defaults. If there's a save file already, we load the JSON and set our data dictionary to mirror the data in the file. Finally, we close the file because we're done with it. Saving the game follows a similar pattern. Instead of reading, we want to write to a new file at a path. Then we convert the data dictionary to JSON and store it as a single line. Let's see how that looks. I'll run the game and you'll notice the default values are displayed. I've set up a button that decreases the health of the player. If I click it, you can see the health changes. But closing and running the game shows the default values again. If we alter the health and this time save, we can see the values have been preserved. They're in a different order, but this doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the JSON file that was saved. Saved files are stored in these locations on your operating system. Pause the video if you want to navigate to them. The file only contains one line, but it's still a valid JSON file. If we take it and put it through a JSON validator, it shows it's valid and even neatens it up for us. If you wanted to create your own JSON file to load, you could use this format so it's easier to read. But in this example, we'll always save to one line because we're not concerned with the prettiness of the file. Finally, I want to talk about deleting saved data. This can be done by removing the file at our saved data path. We then save the data dictionary to the default one. Feel free to play around with this Godot project. You can download it in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to like or dislike the video, and if you have any other questions, please comment below. Cheers!